Hello everyone, it is math time, and the math that we're gonna do right now involves beetles. Yeah, beetles and math. Can you believe it? Yeah, there's math and beetles. Let's check it out. So these beetles here, oh my gosh, they all look a little different. So we're gonna do something mathematical with them. We are going to sort these beetles. So in class, you may have made a beetle that represents yourself. And in this particular key or legend over here, it tells us that the beetle shape shows if you're a boy or a girl. So if a beetle looks like this, it's a boy. If it's a beetle that looks like this, it's a girl. So if I were to sort into boys and girls over here, I'd say, well, this one looks like the boy. So that's going to be a boy. This one looks like the girl version. This one, what do you think? Say it out loud. Yeah, all right, you got it. It's another boy. How about this one? <gasps> Girl, no, that one's boy. How about this one? Say it, win it. Yes, got it. Boy. How about this one? Boy? Ah, no, this one's actually a girl. So we have just sorted beetles into boys and girls. Are there different ways we could sort? Of course there are. We could have sorted by beetle color. We could have sorted by the number of dots on the beetle. We could have sorted by the stripes on the beetles or the beetle's hat color. Okay, many different ways to sort. Let's check out another something that we could do with these beetles. Let's get rid of this legend and let's bring into play a circle. Huh, what are we doing? Well, let's see, we're gonna organize these beetles a different way. I'm gonna make two of these circles. So I'm gonna sort them into two categories. And the first category, and this is what we did before with boys and girls, but watch what's gonna happen. So this one, I'm gonna say, we'll just say we're gonna put the green beetles in this circle. And we're gonna put beetles that have two dots in this circle. Okay, simple, right? All right, let's start. So I'm gonna go, okay, green, blue, get out of there. Uh, green, and now I need to find beetles with two dots. That one has one, this one has two, this one has one, that one has way too many. And I look at my green ones, this one has two. Uh-oh, this one has two dots and it's green. What do you do? Which one does it go in? It's like, uh, do I go here because I'm green? Or do I go here because I have two dots? I just don't know what to do. Well, guess what? We're actually gonna take this circle and overlap it with this one. And this here is a very famous uh, thing in math called a Venn diagram. And the reason we overlap is because the overlap would represent a beetle that is green and a beetle that has two dots. So this beetle's like, finally, I have a home and it's right here, it just feels so good. So that beetle, you can now see, exists in the green circle. And it also exists in the two dots circle. So this spot right here is where we have a beetle that's green and a beetle that has two dots. So would I take this guy, the two dotter, and also put him in the middle? No, because it's not green, right? It's yellow, so it stays here. So the Venn diagram would be sorted like this. Awesome, right? Hopefully you had a great time sorting these beetles and learning about a new mathematical feature called the Venn diagram. Sort it up, everyone.